Welcome back you ravishing individuals. Thank you guys for joining me today on the Dental Digest channel. Buckle up for today's episode, hit that like button down below, and let's jump straight into it. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the truth behind activated charcoal toothpaste. Let's jump into it. So I've had a lot of friends and family ask me about charcoal toothpaste. So let's dive straight into those questions and get them answered for you guys. A really cool place to get started about talking about this topic is how do these companies advertise their products? So there's a lot of advertisement claims out there. Let's dive into the validity of all of them. A lot of these companies all claim on having cosmetic, therapeutical, and several consumer appealing claims such as eco-friendly, herbal, natural, pure, organic. So there's so many claims. So let's dive into the validity of how true they are let's get into it so i've dove into the vast web search of google scholar came across several interesting articles that cross analyze the advertisement claims of charcoal toothpaste to the true validity of what they are advertising and i made sure all my art came from trustworthy sources so i made sure i got you guys back and if you are interested in checking out where my sources came from i included them all down below let's get my goggles on okay so hang with me it's time to dive into the science <laughs> So what I found super interesting was that nearly half of the charcoal toothpaste on the market advertise they have detoxifying effects on your oral cavity. So looking across several research articles, they all fail to find scientific support that topical application of activated charcoal can provide any detoxification benefits to the teeth and oral mucosa. Furthermore, 44% of the companies claim that they had antibacterial properties to support the claims of therapeutic benefits. And then when we look across several research articles, there's no scientific support for the therapeutic claims that activated charcoal toothpaste make. In fact, there's actually six products out there that claimed of being antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. <laughs> And these three insertions are just completely unproven. This is the most important part of this video that I wanna truly get across to you guys. There is numerous research articles out there showing, explaining how abrasive charcoal toothpaste is. Let's take a look at a molecular level of what charcoal looks like under a big, powerful microscope. So it's essentially kind of like a sandpaper. It's going to scrape away everything on the tooth surface. But what is it scraping away? It's scraping the plaque away, right? It's scraping the calculus away, but it's also scraping away your enamel. That's that whitened tooth structure you have on the outside of your tooth. Yeah, so of course you're going to have whiter teeth. If we just keep on scraping away the facial surface, meaning the surface that everyone sees on the outside, if we just keep on scraping that away, yeah, we're just kind of shedding it away and getting a new fresh layer. But if we just keep on shaving that away and shaving it away and getting closer to the center of the tooth where the nerve is held, we're just going to increase the sensitivity of your tooth and you're not going to enjoy it because you won't even be able to enjoy ice cream. Because imagine not being able to eat ice cream because you use a specific toothpaste. So be smart. Make sure you're using a toothpaste that's not going to cause you to have increased sensitivity because if you have increased sensitivity, you're not going to enjoy ice cream and who the heck doesn't enjoy ice cream. Most of these charcoal toothpaste don't even include links on their websites of any clinical trials about the effectiveness or toxicity of their products. And more than 50% of the charcoal toothpaste don't include the American Dental Association seal of acceptance. Is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? Well, I don't know. It doesn't say, huh? Can you please find out? And more than 30% of the products are promoted as fortifying, strengthening, or remineralizing the tooth. And yet very few of charcoal toothpaste even include fluoride, the active ingredient that builds that shield layer around your tooth, allowing it to remineralize and fight off cavities. So now I know what you're thinking. But Anthony, I want an all natural, sustainable, animal ingredient free toothpaste that's great for our environment and great for my oral health because it keeps my teeth white and strong. Well, don't worry, I got the solution for you guys. So if you guys are interested in a product that meets all those criteria, let me introduce you guys to Tom's of Maine. So I am by no ways affiliated or sponsored by Tom's of Maine, but I think they do make a great product and that's why I am recommending them today. One of my personal favorites is their Luminous White Toothpaste. So let me explain why I like this product. The reason why I list this as one of my favorites is because it has no artificial flavors, 
colors, or preservatives. There's no animal ingredients, nor is it tested on animals. And it's also gluten-free. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you guys like this video, smack that like button down below. If you guys are interested or feeling saucy, comment down below what type of toothpaste you guys use so I can uncover the truth behind it. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe if you guys like content like this. I got plenty of content coming out soon. We'll see you guys in the next one. As And as always, don't forget to smile on. Ciao. And if you guys didn't check out the first video, make sure to click above here to check it out. So be smart with the toothpaste you use because if you aren't smart, you're going to not be able to enjoy the, the small things in life like delicious ice cream.